Greetings, my fellow renegades. I found something pretty interesting that I want to show you, so check it out. Somebody figured out a way to make a fogless bathroom mirror, so a bathroom mirror that does not fog up. So my first reaction to this is, well, wow, who cares, right? Uh, but I think this is actually pretty interesting and cool if you delve into it. So what this person did is they ran PEX tubing around the framing of the glass. They pumped warm water through that piping. The idea was basically to heat the glass above dew point temperature, which prevents condensation from forming on it. So I think this person also encapsulated all the windows in their home in this manner to prevent condensation from forming on them and then dripping below the frame and creating a moldy situation. So David Shirk, the guy who posted this, said that this might allow homeowners to maintain higher indoor relative humidity in the winter, which could improve health, well-being, and certainly comfort. So is this like a comprehensive way to prevent humidity damage in your home? Well, there are two ways to prevent humidity damage. One is to keep surfaces warm when they're in contact with humid air. So this would definitely work for a bathroom mirror because the air is super humid. If you warm up the surfaces, then they're gonna be above dew point and you'll be fine. However, rule number two is to keep humid air away from cool surfaces. And so running warm piping around your windows addresses your windows, but it doesn't address other cool surfaces in your house. So in terms of your building enclosure, most people have like drywall and then they have insulation and then behind the insulation they have sheathing and that sheathing can get really cold in the winter. So if it's the winter time and you're cranking your humidifier up to 50%, what's happening is humid air leaks behind your drywall, comes past your insulation, and comes in contact with that cold sheathing. Condensation occurs on it, and then that leads to mold growth. So unless you're putting warm piping every single place in your entire house, you're not addressing that humidity issue. But warming up your windows might actually be really helpful for a reason that doesn't have to do with humidity. Have you ever looked at the thermostat in your room and been like, okay, it's warm in here. It's 73 in here. Why am I freezing? And then some people say, oh, it's because there's a draft. That could be the case, or it could be thermal radiation. So if you're sitting near a window, that window can actually absorb a lot of thermal radiation from your body. Your body is warm and the window is cold. So the net flow of heat is basically the window sucking heat from your body. So if you warm up your window by running piping around it, I would think that you'd be able to sit next to a window without getting as cold. Thermal radiation is a fascinating concept because it can shed light on why you're uncomfortable even if the temperature in your room is supposedly comfortable. Anyway, if you learned something from this video, please like it and subscribe for more content like this. My fellow renegades, I salute you.